Hello YouTube, Dave here again. So I'm going to be filling out the Dragon Bane character sheet. Now initially my plan was when I was recording the video sort of going over uh, a little bit of description of like the game sort of t uh, showing how to like talking about making the character showing off like the combat system and all that stuff. I was going to tack this on to the end of that video, but I think we still just go ahead and f just fill out the character sheet as its own separate video. So there should have been something hopefully I remember to do this <laughs> uh, that I put in the description that the, the actual like filling out of the character sheet was going to be in a uh, ultimately ended up being in a separate video here. But let's just take a look and see uh, what we've got here. So our character is going to be uh, the kin is Mallard. Uh, age is adult. Uh, profession is knight. Uh, weakness is a uh, pessimist, right? That's the one that I got. Yeah. So I always expect the worst to come out of a situation. Uh, the memento is a, a ragged old journal. All right. Uh, and then appearance is going to be thin and wiry. But with glorious head feathers. All right. Uh, our strength is 17. Our con is 16, our agility is 12, intelligence is 10, willpower is 7, charisma is 12. Our damage boon for strength is 1d6. Uh, we don't have a damage boon from our agility, it's sort of in the average range. Uh, oh, I did forget to get, oh no, the movement, I've got that. Uh, movement is 8. I did not get the encumbrance though, so that is one thing that I forgot. So we'll, uh, I believe that is in the derived stats. Oh. There we go, derived ratings. Oh, here we go. So, no, actually, encumbrance is in its own, its own section. So you can carry a number of items equal to half your strength rounded up. Okay. And your inventory without any difficulty. Uh, heavy items count as two, three, or even more normal items. Okay. Uh, so half my strength rounded up. So 17 uh, divided by two, that would be... Uh, that'd be eight, right? So eight rounded up. So encumbrance would be nine. Okay. And then in my inventory, I've got, uh, aside from like my weapon and armor, uh, the only things that I really have is, uh, one set of rations. Uh, torch, Flint and Tinder, and for coinage, we've got six silver pieces. Uh, okay, so I just want to make sure that none of my gear uh, counts as heavy, right? I don't, I don't think, I don't think any of like the, the normal equipment does. I think it would say it somewhere. Uh, so I think it's more like, like sort of objects that you might be, uh, carrying with you. So yeah, I mean, we don't have to worry about any of that. Uh, all right. Our special, uh, abilities and spells. We do have the, uh, was it ill-tempered? Uh, 
which costs three will points. And then we have Guardian, which costs two will points, which is good because we only have seven. <laughs> Uh, so seven will points because that's based off our whiz, uh, off of our will attribute, and constitution is our hit points. So we do have sixteen hit points, which is which is good. Uh, and then yeah, we're actually pretty much almost done. We got splashy, I believe was the name of the or sorry splats splats was the name of the character. All right. Uh, I will put down the armor, so we got plate, armor, we have a light shield, we have a broadsword, alright, uh, and let's do our skills now, so, Acrobatics, we are not trained in, so that is based off of our agility. Our base chance to succeed on agility rolls with a 12 is 5. Awareness, we are trained in awareness, right? That was one that I took, so that gives us a 10, because it would normally be 5, but if you're trained in a skill, it doubles your base chance to succeed. Uh, bartering is a 5, because that's charisma. Beast lore, we are trained in beast lore. So that gives us a 10 instead of a number 5. Bluffing, we are not good at, so that goes back to 5. Bushcraft, we are not trained in, so that's also a 5. Uh, crafting is based off of strength, and our base chance to succeed is 7 on that. Uh, evade, we did take, um, because I realized that I might want that. Uh, instead of, I forget what it was that I had there. Oh, I think I had healing. Uh, but evade, we're going to go with a, so that gives us a 10. And I think we are supposed to check in the ones... No, but we don't. The, those boxes are for uh, advancements, which we'll talk about in a, in a different video. Healing is 5. Uh, hunting and fishing is based off agility, which also gives us a 5. Languages is 5. Myths and legends we are trained in, so that's a 10. Performance is 5. Persuasion is 5. Riding we are trained in, so that's 10. Uh, seamanship we are not trained in, so that's 5. Sleight of hand is agility, and the base rating for that is 5 as well, because we have a 12. Uh, sneaking uh, is a 5, and we have a uh, bane on that, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, spot hidden I did take, so that gives me a 10. Uh, swimming I did not take, but I do get a boon on that one, because of my webbed feet, which I should also put down. Alright. Uh, so that's only going to give us a 5, but we get to roll 2d20s and take the better number for us, so that's good. Axes is 7, because we didn't take that one. Uh, bows we did take, so that gives us 10. Brawling we didn't take, so that gives us 7. We did not take crossbows, so that's 5. Hammers we didn't take, so that's 7. Knives we didn't take, so that's going to be a 5. Slings is going to be a 5, because we didn't take that one. Spears we did take, so that's going to give us a 14. Uh, we did not take staves or staves, so that is going to be a 5. And then we get 14 for our sword. So we're trained very specifically in certain types of weapons. Our armor rating for plate armor. So we got plate. Uh, we also have... Whoops. Uh, and a great helm. Uh, and we get Bane on Sneaking, Evade, and Acrobatics. And our Helmet gives us a Bane on Awareness and Ranged Attacks. The Armor rating for the Plate Armor is 6, and then we get plus 2 for the Helmet. Uh, so if we're using the Helmet, we can reduce damage we take by 8, which we probably will do in certain situations. Weapons, we have our Broad Sword. And our Shield. Uh, so grip is one-handed for both. Range is uh, two, which is done in meters, so basically the next square adjacent to us. Uh, the damage is going to be uh, 2d6 plus 1d6 for our thing, but we're not going to put that in there. We're just going to put in the 2d6. Uh, and durability is 15, and it does piercing 
or slashing. And then our shield is going to be, I think, 1D, where are we here? Shield is one-handed. It has a damage of 1D8, durability of 15 as well, and it does bludgeoning. And there we go. That is the character all filled out. So we'll just take a look here. And there you have it. So that is my Mallard Knight character for the Dragon Bane role-playing game. This character will probably be making a comeback here because there are some solo adventures that we can do. So I will definitely uh, be trying that out here in the very, very near future. Uh, there's also a lot of options when creating Dragon Bane characters to basically do everything on a random basis. So I might actually make a second character and do it all randomly. So I'll give that a shot here as well, uh, again, in a future video. But thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Until then, take care.